Hey guys, I am back. I am back live for the second time of the day for episode 5 of Truth. This time we're going to go back to talking about the rioters that I started talking about in episode 1. We're not going to talk about the vandalism and all that, what well, we are a little bit, but we're mainly going to talk about how the rioters that were, you know, arrested were not charged. And the rioters were not arrested in St. Louis and uh, uh, Chicago and other places were not charged with anything. They were let go scot-free. Why? Why did that happen? Why is it any Democrat-run city, big city, are so... They are so... quick to... hold up criminals in a limelight. I'm sorry, the moment you start breaking stuff and throwing rocks at the police and you start destroying a city, you're no longer a bloody protester. You're a friggin' rioter. And I'm sorry, you riot, you go to jail. That's just, and it's... It's disgusting. This country has become... This country has become a shell of its former self. And I still love this country. We're just going through some stuff right now. We need to get, you know, our... Our mojo back and... Let... And send in... Let Trump do what he needs to do as... As a president... And send in the freaking military to stop these riots. The only way these riots are going to stop is the pol- if they're not going if the demo if uh, these cities aren't going to charge them with anything because they're too afraid to look bad in the media. The hell with the media. Ninety nine point nine percent of all media outlets right out there that report on stuff. I'm talking about stuff like MSNBC, NBC News, CNN. HLN are fake. They are fake news. And the, they don't care about the truth. All they care about is freaking ratings. The media is the worst place to go for information. At all. Any of the big name medias. Bad to go for information. I've seen it, and they're... I've seen these media... These media... models like CNN and NBC... More or less feel... Sympathy for the people who are... Destroying stuff. And I know you guys have seen it too. It's ridiculous. This is stupid, and it is... Just unacceptable for a bunch of criminals who clearly have destroyed a city in a riot to be let go scot-free. And I don't get it. I don't. Can someone explain to me when can someone explain to me when um this country lost itself. I'm... Because I want to put something out there. I'm not trying to get political. The riots are only going to get worse as time goes on. Unless Trump is able to send in the army, the military. Trump straight up said if... The, if these select cities, these democratically, these democratically run cities, will not send in national guard. Then I'll send in. Then I will activate the military. But it is ridiculous. It is stupid. The fact that. People are destroying stuff that straight up because they're offended. We need to stop this or we're not going to have a country left. I am really...
What does that teach other kids? What does that teach a future generation? Oh, there was a whole generation that went rioting. They went rioting, destroyed a, a good chunk of a city, and they didn't get in trouble for it. What does that teach that generation? It teaches them they can do whatever that, whatever stupid crap they want. <clears throat> we need everybody, everybody who starts a riot, who is in these big cities and has taken part in the riot and started a riot, stay home, for the love of God, don't go to these protests and start inciting anarchy. The I said it in episode one of Truth. People protesting is one thing. Peaceful protesting is one thing. <coughs> Destroying a city and setting a house on fire with a kid inside and um, uh, preventing the fire, fire, fire department from getting there, that's another thing, and you need to have your head examined. If you're that angry, for the love of God, go punch a brick wall as hard as you can. It's the only thing I can think of that would keep more crap like this happening. This is... This country has devolved into complete freaking insanity. And that's another thing I wanted to touch on. I have noticed a lot of videos. I rarely pay attention to Facebook. Like, rarely. But I've noticed a lot of videos on Facebook popping up of people attack of people attack attacking innocent people just in stores. I watched a video a couple days ago where a African American man for no reason for no reason attacked a white man in a department store for no freaking reason. And I don't mean just pushed him back. I mean knocked that guy, knocked an old man in the head and sent him to the ground over n nothing. What is, what has this country, what has this world, what, no, no, no. What is, what is that, this country that we're allowing people to go out and attack other people for no freaking, at all. This should not be happening. Stop the freaking violence. Stop the violence. Stop the crap. If people will open their eyes and stop being self-centered assholes, we wouldn't have all these rioters. We wouldn't have all these rioter riots going on. Because people would stop and think, hmm, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that's not a good idea to go riot. And now I'm sorry, you want to talk about you want to talk about getting rid of police departments around the freaking around the country? You've already had you already have um you already kind of have that going on. Police officers, the only thing they're responding to now, and I don't blame them, uh, is officers down. And New York City's murder rate has skyrocketed. I feel bad for the fall. I am 27 years old. I feel bad for the following generation that is going to have to deal with the, that is going to have to deal with whatever these movements and these riots happen. I love my country. I want my country to go back to the way it was. I want my country to go back to the way to where people could, you know, you could walk down the street at night in a big city. And feel somewhat safe and not like, oh god, there's going to be a riot. I should not go out to the bars tonight. This is stupid. This is freaking ridiculous. It needs to stop. This is the... This is turning out to be the worst year I've ever seen since I've been alive. I was born in 1992, guys. I want... This is something I want answered in the comments. What is it? And I... 
what is it that is going to take to get this country to pull itself back together? What is it going to take to get this country to to realize and to stop imploding in on itself? Because I don't like leaving my house anyway. Guess what? I don't see any good reason to leave the house. Except to go swimming and to do other stuff. But, like, actually go out and hang out in public in a city? No. I don't see... I don't see what good is coming out of this rioting. I don't see what good has come out of these the rioters that were arrested in St. Louis and Chicago. Okay, in Chicago, some of them were charged, but not with anything serious. I'm sorry, you caused... How much in damage? How much in damage? That ain't no misdemeanor, that's a felony. And the, considering the guys in St. Louis, Missouri were not charged with anything, I don't understand it. I don't understand the justice system anymore. I don't understand much of anything about what's going on in this country. This is not the country our forefather, our founding fathers wanted for us. And here's a good question. When did the Democrats start working for themselves and not for the, us? That's a whole other podcast on its own. But we'll get to that later. I, in closing, I'm really, I'm really just saying... For the love of God, stop the riots. Stop the stupid crap. If you're really that mad, stay home. And if you're really that mad, stay home. If you you think you can go out, talk to somebody. Do not go out and um, start rioting. Because you start rioting like that, you have a good chance of getting arrested and or killed. This is a stupid, stupid time in this country. I don't watch the news that often because 90% of what's on the news right now is stupid and annoying. But I'm actually starting to wonder if I should start watching the local news again because... The news again because this is getting old. This is... I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else... This country can do to pull its head out of its ass. And I'm going to say this. Trump, if you do hear this, send in the military. Please stop the violence. Stop the freaking, um, stop the freaking stuff. Stop all these riots and do what you have to do. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Next episode, I think we're actually going to be talking about uh, the tension right now between Russia and the United States. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. But I will see you guys next time. Signing out.